so what I found was it's so it's um, I found it in Ars Technica, but uh, it they do give credit to Wired.com where the uh, where the story originally broke. But so when you think of electric vehicles, you you tend to think of what we think of as like uh, the skateboard, or in some cases the battery is you know under a cargo area or you know behind the the cab in some of these long range um, you know semis and stuff. Well. Um, turns out that there is another way to make and um, place batteries around cars and other things. And that actually has to do with, uh, when, you, when, you, when you look at how, hold on, I have to, I have to come resume so you see my, so I, I can see where my hands are. So you look at how batteries work, right? And you got a positive and a negative and you have a separator in between and the, the things flow across and then they charge and they come back and the battery flow. Well, in a, um, in a jelly roll battery, of course, you take this and you roll it up, you know, and you make a circle and, and you flatten it, and you make packs. Well, it's, it's when they're like this that we're, we're worried about talking about here, because what they're doing is they're taking these battery in, in the, this form and, and find out that you can bend them and you can mold them and you can make complex shapes out of batteries which is really interesting. And so by doing this, you no longer have to take the skateboard and dedicate the entire skateboard to the battery pack. Instead, you can do something that Volvo actually did, which was their hatchback. Believe it or not, a hatchback in a Volvo was a battery. And this is the, the back, the gate itself was a, a structural battery. It, it had the, the anode and the, the positive and the negative, and they simply shaped it and made it an actual component of the car. So what's, what's interesting here is battery manufacturers are looking into ways to shape batteries into components of the vehicles and other items in a way that batteries don't have to be solid little blocks or little rolls or things that have to be placed in very particular places, but they can actually mold them and make them part of the component itself, which I just think is, is, a, is a crazy idea. But the more I read it and reread this article, the more I realized it's actually really freaking cool. Did you guys get a chance to, to go through the article? I didn't even see this one, but it reminds me of something we saw like 10 years ago. Is this them bringing this a step closer or? That's exactly it. Yes. And in okay. fact, <laughs> um, it goes back. Yeah. 10 years ago, they were at Imperial College London. The engineering uh -huh. um, team were looking into ways to take flat batteries and shape them into things. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's the exact same thing. Ah, cool. Glad to see because that was that was exciting uh, to see when they were first proposing it. They were saying, "Oh, it can't work." Blah blah blah. It's never gonna happen. But apparently, they've done the, the hatchback. That's cool. Yeah, they said the military has used it um, using carbon fiber for the electrodes, and um, yeah, they. It's 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 an interesting uh, concept in that you, you know, they they use terms like you eliminate the battery but you're not really eliminating the battery. You're simply incorporating the battery into the component that's being propelled by the battery itself. So in this case, the car becomes the battery. You don't have a car sitting on top of a battery. You kind of have to rethink your thinking when, you're, when you get into uh, structural batteries like this. Much so like an airplane wing, wing is, is the fuel tank. Yeah. Exactly. And, and in this case, they use that exact same analogy in that the wing of the airplane could be the battery, not just the inside, but actually the skin itself could be part of the battery and the fuselage could be part of the battery. And, you know, you, when you get into structural batteries like this, you look at every component of the, of the product itself and you realize that could hold a charge. That's, That's some science fiction stuff right there. I don't know how well really that would is. ever, uh, you know, uh, go into high volume manufacturing, but uh, it's it's really neat to think about. We don't have to keep doing things the way we've always done them. Let's think outside of the box. Yeah, right, right. You know, you know, think about it. 
I, 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 can, I can poke lots of holes in this, but I think Patrick's point is the important one. And it may pain me to admit that, but there it is anyway. I, yeah, I, can, be, I can be a bigger man here. No, I do the same that, thought process of do I poke holes in this? And <laughs> cooling and high voltage lines and jaws of life and where are the emergency guys cut? Right, no, it's, right. It's, like, it's, yeah. Better than just, yeah, you get, you get in a fender bender and you bend a frame. Oh, you bend it back off. No, it's a battery. You've cracked it and there's something spilling. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, I, I agree. But, but the important part here is it's good to go to, to explore all these avenues. It's cool to, to look at this in a different way and go, wow, batteries don't have to be a shape or don't have to be a pouch or blah, blah, blah. They can be something else. You know, that's certainly brilliant. It's good to see people trying stuff again. I mean, uh, our, our, our world didn't get where it was from everybody doing the same thing the same way over and over again. We, they had people trying stuff out and inventing stuff, and sometimes it didn't work, and sometimes it was just a little bit better than the last thing, and somebody would build on that. And we just right. got to keep and trying. Sometimes things hit a dead end, but then you yeah. have a technology breakthrough somewhere else. Like maybe some of these things wouldn't work at all with our current batteries, but when we have solid state batteries, oh, you know what? Now all the problems that we were running into, those are easy to fix with this. Mm -hmm.